Hello everybody and welcome to the Quilters Apothecary. Today's tutorial is more of a thought process on how I am working through a quilt that I have loaded on the machine. Now a lot of you saw the live scallop border which is the live number 13 video that we did for Longarm TV and so if you want to go refresh that that's the same quilt that we're doing right now and I am down in the body of the quilt so let's go take a look at this particular quilt and then I'm going to walk you through the decision process on what I'm going to quilt with it. Okay so let me kind of move you across the quilt and again the border was on episode 13 of Longarm TV Live and Rich will put that in the comment section, post a link for that if you want to go check that out. But now let's talk about the body of the quilt. So here is where the edge of the quilt starts going in, and it's simply black fabric. And then in the corners where we have this giant square on point with this wonderful applique of the um, fish, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ditch around all of the applique. I actually thought about going ahead and going a half of an inch outside of here and ditching around that, but what I noticed was there's a different curvature on each one of these applique designs, and I, I wanted it to be consistent, so I thought um, going ahead and simply ditching around uh, the outside of each one would be the way to go so it wouldn't call attention to the fact that they're all just a little bit different. Now here's same thing. I actually ditched around everything here. I'm going to ditch around these areas right here. Um, if you want to take the camera in a little tighter, Mr. Ritchie. So these little slit appliques here, I'm actually going to ditch the inside of those, which is going to leave the rest of this stable. Um, and then it's also going to puff out and give that wonderful faux trapunto. This area, same thing, I'm going to ditch around, but I'm going to fill this with the matching fill that's out here in the black area. All of the black area is going to be filled except for the frame around the square on point itself. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to do a half inch straight line which is going to give that a nice frame. And then on the inside of this white square, I'm going to repeat that same process. I'm going to go a half inch in, and I'm going to do a ditch work between those two. And then what that's going to do is it's going to isolate that space. It's going to frame it really well. Let me back that off a little bit. I'm going to... Go right in here, half inch in, just like that on both sides. And then, of course, the ditch in between. And, of course, the same thing. These shapes on the inside, the applique is all going to be ditched around. And I'm going to go inside each of these uh, fish shapes and ditch that. And, of course, ditch this portion. And then I'm going to put the same fill, but a little bit smaller, in here as I have out in the black area. And then same thing over here. The plain black areas of this same shape, but more of the shadow shape of this, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to do a fill on the inside. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use a small curve and give myself, let me get a lid on this blue pen, and I'm going to go ahead and put a crescent echo on the inside in black, just to go for the texture right inside there. And then what I'll end up doing is I'll end up filling inside there. So this will have ditch work around the outside. It'll have this crescent shaped ditch work. And so that way there's gonna be texture in here. And then that way, um, It'll separate between the fill in the white and then the fill in the black. It'll just give that wonderful positive negative quil quilting effect. And same thing here. I'll do a line, so I'll mimic the shape here. And that will be filled there. Um, and that is exactly how I'm going to treat this quilt all the way through. So it's pretty straightforward. There's a lot of ditch work, obviously. Now, with these shapes right here... Um, 
whenever you don't have, and I know we've covered this in a few other videos, we've at least talked about it, whenever you don't have the exact curve, what you simply would use is a curve that's similar. And what I'm going to do is when I'm moving the hopping foot against that ruler, and let's tighten in that shot so we can get a good view there. And I'll pull this back. So when my hopping foot is going around here, I'm going to be shifting this curve to stay in the outer ditch. And on this one, this curve is pretty close, but it's a little bit bigger. So um, even though I might use this on part of it, I might flip over to my medium arc, which is pretty close to the same curve. And so same thing, I'm simply going to be shifting this to stay in that ditch all the way around. And then same thing on the insides. When I want to go do the inside, I will shift it when I'm doing the inside, and then flip it behind, do the same thing from behind, and then that's how I'm going to be ditching that. And so here, as you look at this clip, this video clip that we're looking at right now, what you see is you see the um, completed part of my first pass. You can kind of see that texture of the applique itself and also the effect of the framework of the um, half inch outside the uh, white as well as inside the white. And you see that wonderful effect of the framework. Well, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that helped you with some decisions about what you would do if you get a quilt that has a lot of inner spaces to work with. Um, it's not all the options, but it's certainly one option, and it's a very good option. So as usual, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and we will see you down the road. Happy quilting. Mm -hmm.